Barnes. The man accused of killing Temple friends Jenna Scott and Michael Swearingen has been indicted tonight. 44-year-old Cedric Marks is charged with capital murder and is now being held on nearly $2 million bond. Fox 44's Noelle Mendoza joining us live now from our Bell County Bureau. Now, Noelle, Marks is not the only one facing a capital murder, murder charge in this case. The grand jury also indicted Maya Maxwell, who's a friend of Mark's and supposedly told police where to find the bodies of Jenna and Michael. And Jenna's father tells me that although this is going to be a hard and uphill battle, he knows that these indictments are a good step in the right direction toward justice. The, the process, it'll take a while, but we, we definitely are. We still have um, good days. We have good days and bad days, of course, but we're healing. A temporary sigh of relief for the loved ones of Jenna Scott and Michael Swearingen. I hope that uh, the DA is uh, planning on pursuing death penalty. That's pretty much what's on my mind right now. The grand jury indictment says Marks knowingly caused the death of Swearingen by strangulation and the death of Scott by homicidal violence. Both murders allegedly taking place January 3rd inside a home in Colleen. He's indicted. He's not, of course, he's still not found, you know, he's got to be found guilty by it. A grand jury, if the evidence supports supports it and he's found guilty, I hope he's tried to the full extent of the law. This after the bodies of the two friends were found in Oklahoma over three months ago and nearly two weeks after vanishing. The law is be a void, you know, our, our uh, new reality is pretty hard to adjust to. Michigan police arrested Cedric Marks on January 8th for a burglary warrant out of Temple. Police say he escaped custody in Conroe while being extradited to Bell County. It's taken its toll. I mean, we... Uh, we rely on our faith and, and uh, you know, our, our love for one another, and, and uh, we just keep moving forward. Jenna would have wanted that, and so would have Michael. Now, Scott says the next step is pretrial. I hope that they, they prove up that they have enough, that the evidence is valid, it's a solid case, and that they're able to move forward and uh, pursue, the DA is able to move forward and pursue the death penalty. Now, District Attorney Henry Garza tells me they still need to review information to determine whether to pursue the death penalty or not. Live in Bell County, Noelle Mendoza, Fox 44 News. People with the Fox 44 mobile app were among the first to hear about today's indictment. You can download it at your app store by searching for Fox 44 KWKT. Now, once you have it, you can sign up for specific push alerts. Just tap the gear in the upper left-hand corner, select Customize Alerts, and then select the category you want to get your alerts on.